end of day two here at the Sunshine State Major. It's been a big day. I have Chris Odom with us. <laughs> whoop, whoop. In the house, we have a Browns player from the actual NFL. I am freaking out over here. Chris, how has today been? Today's been exciting just to watch a competitive paintball and then watching my team do well so far in the, in the first time bumping up a division. So overall, it's been a successful Saturday. So you said your team. Mm -hmm. What team are you here with? I'm here with uh, my divi my D2 team, uh, Shut Up or Trying, helping them out. Uh, we went 4-0 going on from Friday to Saturday, and I believe we're the number one seed into D2 going into Sunday. That's amazing. How long have they been playing together? Uh, together, the organization has been, uh, been playing playing for almost going on to 10 years. That's amazing. So you played paintball mm -hmm. like around the same time you started playing football? Uh, roughly. I started football whenever I was like five, six years old. And then I played paintball for the first time ever since I was eight. And then got my own setup when I was 10. And then got back into the scene around 2020 into present time. And overall, the uh, the whole community has just been welcoming so far. So it's a meeting, meeting new people has just been great along the way. I see you're repping your Hormesis band. Oh, cool. Of course, of course. Yeah, my my gambler band. Uh, shout out to Oliver Lang and Alex, and Alex Frazier. Thank you so much for for making this band. Uh, they make great products. You know, I'm definitely grateful for it. How is paintball and football the same and different? Different as far as a, it's a different intensity, right? It's all relative, but overall, it's just been helping me stay focused for even longer, and it's just a different competitiveness for me to utilize. Have you been able to share your love of paintball with your team? They know I play in uh, from different leagues and friends. You know, I've definitely taken, taken them out paintballing and they definitely had a good time. You know, paintball is just one of those things where all walks of life can play and it's just a different, uh, it's just a different way of having fun and having a good time. That is so exciting to hear your love for the game, not just for football, but for paintball too. What advice would you give to someone that's trying to get into paintball? Just go out there, try it and just see if you like it. You might have a good time. It may not be for you, but you never know until you at least try it once. So two decades later, you're still coming back. Why did you choose the NXL? You know, I naturally I'm competitive within the sport that I already play. And then I played a lot of woods ball and rec growing up. So then I wanted to try speedball or the or tournament style paintball. I just got, you know, the itch to play again. Then sure. I joined my team now and then just playing more competitively. So naturally that just played hand in hand. And then overall, it's just, it's just been fun and just a great time so far. Thank you so much for your time. We appreciate you being involved in our sport. Sport. Keep killing it out there on the field and here. All right, thank you so much for having me. Thank you. Woo! We have a hero a special, special guest. Yeah. Hype it up to the max. I got this. Yeah. No, we're gonna seize the day. <laughs> we're gonna do this. Hell's yeah. <laughs>